Uh, last day, we have just uh, finished our discussion about the syllabus. So we have to begin from the starting point. We are start from again from the first chapter here. Right. Uh, under the first chapter, what we have learned, we have to revise and remind, remember the things that we have learned. Preparation of computer specifications. That is the heading. Preparation of computer specifications. How can we prepare specifications? Why we need specifications? Before we learn this chapter, we just see, we just saw actually discuss why we need specifications. Because in case if you want to buy a new computer, you need specification. In case if you need to buy a new computer, you need to know about specifications. In case you need to update your computer to a new version, if you need to update your computer to a new version, you need specification. If you want to compare your computer with some other computer, you need specification. To compare your computer with other computers, you need specifications. So these are the reasons that you need specifications. Right? So for those reasons that we have learned. And uh, so what are these specifications? Can you just give me some examples for the specifications? So what are the specifications? What are the type of specifications that we have done? Yes, there are technical specifications and non-technical specifications. Technically, what you need to do, what you need to have, and non-technically, what are the things that you need to consider? These are called technical, non-technical things. Technically, what are the things that you need to concern? Let's say you are buying a computer. You want to buy a new computer. What do you look? What kind of things that you are looking into? Just tell me. Come on. What kind of features that you are looking into? Nothing. Sir, technical or non-technical? Technically? CPU, core. Uh, yes. Core size, RAM, storage. Yes, very good. CPU speed. You are looking at CPU speed. What is how fast your central processing unit is? Then number of cores in your number of processing units in your CPU. Is it multiple processing unit or single processing unit? Number of processing units in your CPU. Then the capacity of your main memory or the random access memory. Capacity of your main memory or the random access memory. Then again, uh, another thing is speed of your random access memory, capacity of your storage, hard disk. These are some considerations. And number of ports available, whether they are HDMI ports, VGA. So what kind of visual graphic adapter VGA available? Is it like if you are looking for gaming, you need fast VGA. Right. Based on your requirement, actually, you are searching for different, different things. We learned about that. So that is called technical. Non-technical, you are thinking about the prices, warranty period, after service. So these things need to be considered as non-technical things. Okay, let's summarize the lesson that we have learned uh, in during our first chapter. So there are different people working in different fields that we learn. Programmer develops or codes. Network administrator will handle the network when two or more computers connected together. Two or more computers connected together, we call that a network. When this multiple computer environment, network administrators are there to maintain these networks, to troubleshoot these networks. System analyst is the person who converts a business opportunity or an opportunity to a software. So let's say you are a system analyst. In your school, you have a manual attendance system, that one zero system, Piran is called, and you are a system analyst. What do you are your task? Your task is that manual system need to be transferred to automated, maybe QR code or barcode system. Your task is identify the features of this manual system and transform that into the computer system. You are the person who do this research, who are you are the person who identified. And design this system according to your instructions, according to your identification, software engineers, programmers, developers develop the system. 
software engineer is the person having overall responsibility of software development life cycle and application assistant is an end user he's using the software at the end like graphic editing sound editing uh, maybe uh, office applications so these people these are called application assistants so web developers developing web pages web developers developing web pages and they are actually the web development is one of the main tasks main areas of computing okay that's it right then so here these are some tasks there are different people no ekka ekka wenas vidhi ministry inna etoda yala wenas vidhi task karana monada me task what are these tasks playing computer games computer games play karana if you want to play games you need high end cpu you need a high performing cpu and not just that you need high performing vga graphic card or vga you need that okay then uh, computer games you need high end cpu high end vga vga can a graphic graphic features take 24 hours right normal graphics will not be enough to pay, play the high quality games but there, there are professional game players are they wala edma kiyala then mama games gahana games gahanna ona kiyala laksha pahak vitara deela computer ekak gen epa you are you are using this for actually preparation of documents internet access and learning purpose you don't know any that kind of computer to do your work so general games can be played but there are professional gamers gaming can a job ekak <coughs> professionally game gahana katti me game gamers kela gena job ekak tari ekak the gaming kela field ekak hem inna katti na these are high end gamers right? these people will use uh, high end graphic uh, cards and also system units cpus gpus graphic processing unit system and computer processing units so they need high gpus and high fast gpus and fast cpus so preparation of uh, documents a general computer is enough accessing internet even a tab is enough even a mobile phone tab is enough accessing internet editing audio video materials again you need high end computer with a powerful vga and powerful processor graphic designing at least you need some powerful some kind of powerful computer because these are some high uh, process consuming tasks so you need better computers to do that so let's see some specifications available nowadays and practically let's try to understand whether this computer is suitable uh, for doing some tasks let's go to online purchase in environment sri lanka uh the ras and i just need to buy a laptop let's say i need to buy a laptop i'm searching for it okay here are the results that i'm getting right i would i would like to go for the highest to lowest right because you need to consider about uh, when you are buying a laptop you need to consider about uh, Mm, the specifications here they are a laptop this is a 200 and this is a 200 and 8000 and you can see the specification here or so here specifications are included in the description also so this is i5 intel i5 11 gen 8 gb ram 512 ssd and 15.6 hd windows 10 uh, so they actually they have mentioned all these things you can see the 512 ssd that is your hard disk windows 11 is installed 15.6 hd display and uh, 8 gb ssd ddr4 ram and uh, i5 11 gen uh, processor 
actually number of course not included but you can just search uh, this uh, you can search from this Okay, you can see the processor specification here. This is four cores, right? Can you see the microprocessor has four cores? Cores can okay, processing units. It's like a gas cooker and number of uh, cooking elements <coughs> here. Uh, one store gas burner is this. So this is like a single core processor. So then two store gas burner. Two store gas burner is like it's having two processing units. Right? This is not a gas burner. Right? I'm just explaining using a practical example. It's not a gas burner, but just identify using that, that. Four core means you have four store gas. It's like four store gas burner. Having four cores, four processing units. Right? So but single gas cylinder is connected or single power is given, but it has four processing elements. That is the idea, right? Then uh, let's say uh, six core. I'm not sure whether we have, but there are. Right? So these are for industrial, I think. Six store gas burners. And uh, do we have any eight? Yes, in the industrial level, there are. Right? In the industrial level, there are such gas burners. Similar to that, in the computing world, you have uh, quad core, octa core, deca core, can call the high actin or deca core, octa core, can attractin, hexa core, can high actin processing unit, uh, quad core, can attractin, then i5 mati and the puluang, i5 computer can be dual core or i5 octa core, which is better, i5 dual core, i5 octa core. i5 octa core. Yes, I5 octa core is better. I5, sorry, I5 uh, dual core, I5 quad core. I5 quad core is better. Here, uh, so I5 dual core. So there can be I5 dual core, but I5, but uh, I5 dual core processors are there. Actually, it has two cores. Here, list of Intel I5 processors. So uh, in Wikipedia, you can see so there are a lot, right? There are a lot. You can see uh, I5 750. And so number of course, this is quad core I5, quad core I5, quad core I5. Right? You can see the prices also. And here see uh, I5, but here's, these are dual core I5. So they, therefore be careful. Somebody can say a cell I5 machine. I5 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 Dual co i5 then. The dual co i5 already summoned in quad co i5 on the can you see? So the configuration, the prices to around two hundred dollars. Here the prices also two hundred dollars, right? So you cannot even compare with the I cannot care never. Right? There are so different things that you need to so but basically if you have four cores, that is faster. But you have to consider about the other things also. There may make speeds when here quad core. The frequency is 2.4, 2.8. If I make a dual core, 3.6. So that is why this is expensive. Dual core, 3.6. That is why. And it has a GPU too. I don't make a GPU equipment. Graphic processing unit equipment. In addition to the CPU, there's a GPU. So therefore, just don't rely on the things just by looking the out internal, external things. <coughs> Externally, <coughs> They are selling as these are first generation. They are just selling. Okay, internally they are selling as i5. Sorry, in the website they are selling as i5. But you need to think about so what are the real specification? And this is some other thing. These are quad cores. Uh, these are quad cores. Here four cores are there. But quad cores with uh, faster, uh, faster 
speeds. This is in the second generation. So here, uh, quad cores with the faster, uh, faster processing power. And these are quad cores, but uh, we can see the prices and all. And here you can see uh, this is dual core. So these are, uh, this is third generation. So this is fourth generation. So different, like generation to generation, IV page. And so let's go, let's move uh, down and you can see the 11th generation. Let's see, this is seventh generation. So likewise, there are a like lot of processors, right? So even all are i5, all these are i5, but different, different configuration. Here, see this i5, this 10th generation, it's having six cores, hexa cores, hexa core i5, still i5, right? But this is 10th generation, still they are selling as i5 but they are having six cores. This is hexaco i5. And now we are in actually 11th and 12th generation, or even the third, uh, I think. <coughs> yes, this is, uh, 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 this is 12th generation. Right, can you see the speeds? Right, can you see the speeds? They are expensive, yes but they are having like uh, turbo speeds and also six cores improvement. Even the 13th generation is there with the six cores. And you can see that is much expensive than the previous versions. With the turbo 5.1 gigahertz will be support. And likewise, there are specifications you need to know. Mature on that deep may part maybe. Have I, what do you need to know? So, you need to know about one thing, okay. So before we learn, let's learn about these computers. Out of these, which of these computers can be kept in a desk or kept in a single place and which are mobile? So let me highlight the mobile computers, which are mobile computers, which can move from one place to another place. All in one computer. Ah, is it a mobile? No, it's to keep in a desk, right? All in one computer is like, it's saving. Saving space, space a kitru karna, have a yaka, a katanaka piana tamati. So, not to move from one place to another. Laptop can be moved. Notebook is lighter version of laptop. Not black packet ready, but I do not be kicker. It's a lighter version. Tablet computer and smartphone. Those are mobile computers. And these are, these are the computers that you need to keep on a desk. So out of these computers, which is a super performing one, which has high performance. Server computer and workstation. Server, server has high. So what is number two? Workstation. Workstations. So normally these servers, workstations, both work as server computers. Servers, both workstations, both can be considered as uh, server computers. This can serve multiple people. Not a single person. It can be served. It can be used to serve multiple people. Good argument to serve our day. It can be used to serve multiple people same time. So we call them. We call them a, ser a server type computers. Workstation is also workstation or at Kanyam Pavichikaran Bulo, but it has a it has ability. Workstations also. So if you buy the workstation, so this workstation features are bit. Like works, if you buy a workstation, you have like better configuration. I think in Dara sometimes workstations are available, not sure. <coughs> Let's search, search. Actually, I need workstation computers. I'm not sure whether it's listing them. No, it's showing some other components, right? Workstation tables and etc. Workstation computers. I need actually workstation computers. Is it available? This workstation, no. Not available. The workstation computers are a bit faster than our uh, usual computers, right? It is basically used for gaming and also to provide, uh, let's see, works. Uh, let's workstation. Uh, 
Okay, uh, can you see this in the marketplace? Uh, the, uh, so these are workstation computers. These are basically here Ryzen 5 workstation. These are for gaming. These workstations are basically high performance computers suited for gaming. But even though they mention as this Sion, uh, this, this can be treated as a workstation, but this is just a normal computer. And These are just normal computers. These are not workstations. Here, Ryzen 5, this one is a workstation. Workstation computers are a bit advanced and high performing than the general desktops. This can be shared by multiple people, better for gaming, etc. Can be shared by multiple parties. Okay, that is it. Let's go. And workstation laptops are also there, right? Workstation laptops so these uh, workstation laptops are basically uh, faster than other laptops some some workstation some workstation laptops when you search you will get some like uh, just uh, here the base gaming uh, laptops these are for gaming 3d rendering etc right and so what they are listing macbook uh, 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 this is a workstation one. What is the name of that? Uh, I'll be present in a video. Okay, here HP Z Book Fury. Right, it's having 64 GB RAM. See. There are none in the RAM maker 60 for someone and a pay computer cell RAM in a common. The Magin and Tina 8 GB. So, what about your computer? Mostly, so maximum is also 16 at the maximum. So, in your computers, maximum you can find. So, here, my one is having 8 GB. So, here 1 TB SSD, my one is having 1 to 8 SSD. Very poor, right? Here is easy. Uh, you can see like graphics. NVIDIA RTX A5000 graphics. And <clears throat> you can see the display resolution is very high, more than 4K. It's 4K touch screen. So these, these are workstations. These are uh, ZBook Fury G8. Right? This is a workstation. And this is also a workstation. It's having 16 GB. But I think this one, uh, so what about the, like, let's see the price. HP Z Book Fury 17 HG8. Big name, right? Savina. Let's check the prices. <coughs> it's with 16 GB and A3000 not the actual version that we have seen. It's one of the highest. Uh, this is what? This is uh, a 16 GB, right? I saw 16, 5 SSD. They are not even selling that uh, version that we saw, but still the price is around 2000 uh, USD and with the shipping is 2200. So what's, what's uh, USD to LKR? Uh, eight lakhs, closer to eight hundred thousand rupees. But uh, having only sixteen GB, right? That is not the version that we were searching for. Right? Uh, but uh, if you buy this, it's having closer to uh, sixteen. Yeah, it's having sixteen GB, not one TB SSD even. Right? Uh, yes, RAM is sixteen. Okay. It's a workstation laptop. 4 GB traffic card. Octa core processor. 24 megabyte cache. So it should be faster. These things are magical now. Then make me hikale baladi namdonia hina lokui wa gepe not tava upula or pahaking with a baladi. These things are just normal, right? Because the technology is evolving. 
මේ වීඩියෝ එක කවුරු හරි අවුරුදු 5කින් විතර බලනවා නම් ඒගොල්ලෝ හිනා වෙයි අයියෝ මේ වත ලැප්ටොප් කියන right that is the thing because the technology is evolving technology is evolving so uh, this is uh, something faster now but so after 5 years this will be very cheap laptop yeah everyone will have this kind of laptops uh, and they are joining in this kind of laptops for zoom classes so that is very simple thing that can happen even uh, sri lanka is not going that direction but the world is going in that direction okay the fastest computers uh, are kind of servers server computers are faster then uh, workstations you saw that workstations are having basically not just the desktop there are laptop workstations too but these are having high features desktop computer is the third third fast all in one is fourth or fifth because this can be interchangeable five can be laptop four can be all in one no four can be all in one five can be the laptop the other way other way either four is laptop or either five is laptop these two can change in the positions anyway after laptop you have uh, this one sixth place seventh place i will i would like to give it to smartphone or what do you think so yeah, seventh place is smartphone or seven or eight both places can be taken by the smartphone and here in the tablet computer also seven or eight you can say seven to the tablet and eight to the smartphone but sometimes this is changing these are the performance based ranking number 1 will go to servers then are you going to buy a server no it's expensive service needed when you want to serve a lot of people but service expensive so but what what's your preference my preference is desktop it's average expense it's less expensive but can do more work so my preference is desktop but uh, for the mobility if you want to move from place to place the notebook will be better because it is lightweight and you can do almost everything okay let's move to the next part i am not going to discuss this as a theory lesson let me move faster the next thing is the peripherals what are the peripherals three categories of peripherals are there peripherals are connected to the computer from external uh, actually con connected to the motherboard not just using the circuits using wires or wireless mechanism ಅದು ಪೆರಿಪೆರಲ್ ಕೇನೆ ಐಕ ವೈರ್ ವಲಿ ನತ ವೈರ್ ನಕು ಮದರ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಎಕಟ ಬಾಹಿರಿನ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬೆನಿ ಪಿಟತಿ ಮದರ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಎಕಟ ಹರಿ ಮದರ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಎಕ ತಿನೆ ಅಕುಮಿ ಬಾಹಿರೆ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಫೋನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟರ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ಕೀಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ಮೌಸ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ಮಾನಿಟರ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಪೆರಿಪೆರಲ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ considered as peripherals and not just that the storage is even hard disk is inside that it is connected using a wire to the motherboard so it's a peripheral pen drive is a peripheral cd dvd is a peripheral so what are the peripherals they easily you can say input devices output devices and storage devices are peripherals non peripherals other devices motherboard is it peripheral or non peripheral non peripheral power unit is it peripheral or non peripheral peripheral power unit is it storage it's not output it's not input it's non peripheral ram the access memory ram 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 ekak dannawa ne random access memory ram ek random access non peripheral non peripheral why it is directly connected to the motherboard the circuit the equipment ta kakne make it is directly motherboard ekata the connect ena so with the circuit surface again therefore it is non peripheral then uh, what about uh, what about vga non peripheral sound cards non peripheral external hard disk peripheral peripheral external hard disk peripheral so these are the details peripherals non peripherals okay then so computer specifications we saw so what are the things that we need to consider especially the processor brain of the computer the speed of the computer is decided by the speed of the processor mainly 
but there are some other factors mainly speed of the uh, brain ape vegaya brain eke vegaya matatama pradhana vashya grantha kauti that is main factor but there are some other factors too we have to act fast if you can run fast if you can move fast if you can see fast if you can listen fast if you can smell fast if you can eat fa fast that can also make your activities faster i thought make a vitarakma ne may not only the processor other things are also designed in the speed okay processor is just a kind of a chip here you can see and speed of the processor when it is high it can process more data so processor manufacturers apple amd intel are competitive manufacturers but there are more motorola samsung for mobile phones different man of intel uh, motorola samsung different manufacturers are there for mobile phones also and um, some other things like uh, so your even your processor can have multiple cores i said that it's like stores in gas cooker multiple having multiple processors processing unit inside the processor will make the processor work fast in the parallel run right not always in parallel run that means if you are cooking in all four stoves only that will be faster if you are just cooking in one stove then what will happen having four stove kitchen four stove uh, four stove cooker but you are only using one stove then it is not faster then gap li phataraka gas ekak api agena ekalipaka vitarak wenawa na ehema fast wenne li phatarema mona hari tiyenawa nan thama fast wenne so that means your processor your programs or the software should run in all the cores they only it will become fast okay single core processor 70m1234 i had a pentium 1 machine that is in me back in 19 uh, sorry 2002 yes 2002 i had pentium 1 computer but now it's obsolete pentium 4 is also not there nowadays seven single core now we have at least dual core quad core hexa core octa core uh, deca core this this multi core processors are there the next thing is hard disk we are measuring the capacity using terabytes so what is smaller version of terabyte okay b for bytes b for bytes how many bytes are there for kilobyte 1024 bytes 1024 bytes equal to 1 kilobyte kb how many kilobytes are there for megabyte Uh, 1040, 1024. Yes, thousand twenty-four into thousand twenty-four bytes are there for, uh, or you can say thousand twenty-four kilobytes are there for one megabyte. We one million bytes actually, one megabytes. You can say one million bytes too. Then uh, one GB gigabyte, closer to one billion. One billion bytes is one GB. That means thousand twenty-four MB is equal to Okay, thousand twenty-four megabytes is equal to one gigabyte. Thousand twenty-four gigabytes is equal to one terabyte. Then thousand twenty-four terabyte is equal to one exabyte, setabyte, yottabyte. Likewise, these are evolving. We are measuring the hard disk capacity nowadays using terabytes. If I discuss this like ten uh, years back, I would not say terabyte. That time we had gigabytes. If I was discussing this like twenty years back, I I will tell that it is using megabytes right but that is 20 years back using megabytes and giga then uh, after 10 years it is uh, gigabytes now it is terabytes maybe after some maybe 10 years 2030 if i do this lecture it will be even exabytes right 
because it evolves it change every day that happens we cannot tell exactly we cannot tell hey, you know, that is like that is in your examination you can say uh, if you are using this book yes hard disk is measured using uh, terabytes but maybe after after another 20 years you cannot teach that to your kids that is the nature of it if you teach that to your kids it is wrong it will be wrong okay then next is the monitor so what are the things uh, that we need to look at monitor consider when considering monitor what are the things the size please restrain the monitor yes what do you think a bit larger the better or smaller the better larger the better yeah larger the better but you have to consider about uh, the power consumption too right when you have small screen it will consume very less power when you have large screen it will consume a lot of power if you want to keep for example a mobile phone if you want to keep that for a few days you can make the screen a bit smaller because it will consume less less current bit. these are the things but larger the better yes but not all less if you want to move from one place to another place the smaller the display will be good and there are technologies crp cathode ray tube large like all that petty type uh, monitors earlier days we had that this uh, crp monitors That was in all days, earlier days, we had this CRP. <coughs> Heavy monitors, but now it is not there. Now we are having LCD, LED. LED is better, having more brightness, but LCD is cheaper. You can decide whether to have the cheaper version or whether to get brighter version. Okay, main memory. That is your temporary storage. Unlike the hard disk, hard disk can store for long time now, but main memory can store only for short time. When you for when you like turn off the computer, main memory will be erased. When power goes, main memory will be erased. So we call that volatile memory. But uh, if you have a better volatile memory, then memory Like when you sleep, your memory will be erased. Okay, can you remember what did you eat five days ago for lunch? It's difficult because it was there in your memory, now we rest. But if you write down that somewhere in your book, then you can recall that because it was there in the book. This is similar to writing down into the hard disk. When you written, when you write things into the hard disk, you can keep that for a long duration. You can keep that for a long period. But when you Keep that in the memory, main memory, it will be erased soon, right? You cannot memorize like that. The memory is short term, but the storage is long term. In your brain also, there are two portions. One is short time memory, short term memory. That is like your random access memory will be erased very quickly. The other one is the long term memory. When you put, when you save things into the long term memory, it will be lasting for a very long time. Your name, your date of birth, like things are then in, they are in your long term memory. Therefore, you can remember your birthday, you can remember your name, because that is there in your long-term memory. But the things like the meal that you had will be there in your short-term memory and will be erased soon. So memory is something like that. So nowadays, we are measuring memories using GBs, gigabytes. Actually, not just this, we need to consider about the speed of memory too. How soon you can memorize, how soon you can give that back to the output device. That is also effective. Higher the speed, it will speed up your computer. So there are different memories, maybe 8 GB. So let's say you want to buy 8 GB memory, but be careful, there are different speeds. 8 GB, 8 GB RAM uh, with the speed of uh, maybe five uh, double three megahertz i'm not sure whether it's there but there can be rams with here uh, 2 gb 2 gb rams with 533 megahertz so let's go for 2 gb 2 gb ram with 533 megahertz 
and let's search for some other one 2 gb ram with uh, let's say some other megahertz level maybe here 2 gb ram same 2 gb this is but uh, you can see 800 megahertz this is a bit faster and this is 2 gb ram uh, with 1033 megahertz this is even more faster so all three all three are here uh, 2 gb ram with 1066 megahertz right some of you are only considering 2 gb ne the samata me ada wenaka oyala ganna the 2 gb gwa ma okkoma ekai ddr2 the three da okkoma ekai ehema na here this is 2 gb ddr2 1600 megahertz this is uh, 2 gb ddr 2 gb ddr3 1600 ekata meyak ehema 2 gb ddr3 ma hebe meyak 1300 so this plus uh, this price is for 440 INR, Indian rupees 440. May price like Indian rupees 460. This is faster. But maybe faster gear like a mega mag motherboard like support current, right? You have to think about your motherboard speed too. If your motherboard is slower, motherboard like that speed like that, you know. You gotta pick an FSB gear. Motherboard front side bus speed, FSB. Uh, FSB gear like, you know, motherboards are also having some speed fsb let's say speed the west cannot see the images front side bus speed of the motherboard mm -hmm. in this bios i think you can see the fsb is it no it's not mentioned there cpu is is very good tool which you can use to measure these things you can see the bus speed is 580 megahertz it's measured there CPU is also having a bus speed, but uh, the motherboard is also having bus speed, right? So motherboard bus speed is affecting, motherboard is slower. If motherboard is uh, slower, that is basically you cannot put a faster RAM. You can put, but still you will not get that speed. So you need to consider about the bus speed, speed of the motherboard and speed of the processor, everything, right? So these are some additional things that you know to make. VGA come in as a card and can be on board also. Board deke ma tiyan na kulo. Mother board deke. This is called on board VGA. On board. On board VGA kya ne? Computer ke mother board deke tamma plug vela VGA ka tiyan na. Here in the mother board itself, me tiyan mother board deke ma VGA tiyan. This is called on board VGA. These kind of motherboards are there. The make a tier dimmer, Tava Tianama, on board BG, the other one is separate BG. Separate BG, Tianama, like a Marukara Ganapula, motherboard BG, the Marukara and a bed, motherboard BG, a tier did separate BG, a Hanapula. Separate BG, here you can see it's a VG card coming separately that you can attach to the motherboard using this slot in the making. Motherboard can attach current like using the slot, you can attach that to the motherboard. So <coughs> actually, separate VJ is upgradable. Time to time you can change it. Because if you don't like that VJ, the speed, you can change it and install high speed VJ. That is possible. Okay, these are the things that you need to consider. On beach on board BGA, separate BGA. These are the things that you need to consider. Right. Uh, now uh, sound cards also you have on board separate on board. So what are these sound ports? So we have to learn this in the ports lesson also. So what is pink color one? Mic. Yes, it is for microphone. Green color one. Uh, audio speakers. Speakers, audio out. Uh, blue color, the blue color what? Line in. Line in. What is the purpose of having line in? To get the output sounds to into the computer. Yes, if you get like there are a line out in organs, keyboards and all organ keyboard will have a line now. Some are web camera in a line out. Web camera I came a mic. Then this line outs can be connected to this line in. Web camera wala, peta kotha mona adhi. Organ wala hamati na line out taking arakena kelly ma line inne kata dekhi. 
right then like the microphone එකෙන් record වෙනකොට අපිටත් ඇහෙනවා නේ අපිට ඇහෙන්න නැතුව මෙතන signal එක wire එක දිගේ computer එකට ආවා line outs can be connected to that line in that is why you have this sound port line in port these are on board right this is separate then you need to know about the other ports also what is this one the purple and so this is rare this is old one this is ps2 parana tibbe ka ps2 keyboard mouse kele issara tibba then na me wa ps2 uh, keyboard that is purple color one purple color port here so this is ps2 keyboard this can be connected to ps2 to keyboard port right computer wala tibba ps2 me thiyen this ps2 keyboard the purple color one came for keyboard green color one came for mouse but nowadays we cannot see this right actually this no color ones can be connected to keyboard or mouse one of these actually now you cannot see these things not available because this is replaced by which port now keyboards and mouses are replaced by USB. ports are replaced by usb universal serial bus now keyboards and mouses can be connected to this port usb but earlier days this was there so meka tika parana motherboard ekak thama me pote deela thiyenne man hama dama kena pot wala thiyena tika parana kaman nae ithin obe ogola alut ewa tigena ganna what about this one what is this port yes what is this port ekata yatin thiyenne this one This is USB, right? Universal serial bus USB, and this one. Hello, can you hear me? Am I audible? Yes. What is this? HDMI. What is this one? VGA. VGA. Monitor का connect कराने hall सिद्रु पहल वाती ने fifteen halls आते हैं. This one is. parallel port no this is for there this white color this is a, this is dvi digital video interface port dvi ye kak me thi so this is usb again and these are usb again this is this is network you call rj45 registered jack rj45 that is for the network and these are sounds is it have in on board vg or separate vg मेक अट ऑन बोर्ड वीजी ये द तीन है सेपरेट वीजी ये द ऑन बोर्ड क्या ने मदर बोर्ड एक है मत ये ना होना वीजी एक दिस इज वीजी राइट दिस इज फॉर कनेक्टेड मॉनिटर दिस इज ऑन बोर्ड राइट बिकॉज़ इट इज देयर इन द मदर बोर्ड दिस सेंड दिस बोथ आ वीडियो पोर्ट्स एंड बोथ आ देयर इन द मदर बोर्ड वी कैन कॉल ऑन बोर्ड वीजी ए मदर बोर्ड अंडरस्टूड दिस दिस द पोर्ट नेम्स यू नीड टू रिमेंबर राइट द पोर्ट नेम्स आर गिवन बिलो यू नीड टू remember they all are given in the book but i'm just discussing this as a summary lesson right we have already done this lesson no okay then the other things are pre installed software where the operating system is installed to this computer where the application software are they are installed this then so based on that also you need to consider but there are linux like operating system linux ubuntu linux fedora linux right so linux is not a operating system right mitana veradi aayith kiyala thiyena linux is not a operating system what is linux then linux is a kernel linux is a kernel operating system engine ekak then engine ekak drive karanna puluwanda can we drive an engine without the wheels yeah. and all without the steering wheel without the wheels without the chassis without the gearbox without accelerator without the brake can we drive an engine yeah. not possible right it's not possible using the linux kernel there are different operating systems created can you name a few using the linux linux is engine is the kernel using that there are khali linux systems connected khali thama matak kene isala one khali ammo thama matak kene khali is for hacking basically <coughs> Ubuntu. 
and Zubundu. Handan and Linux. Hmm? Handan and Linux. Fedora. In Sri Lanka, there's a version called Hantana. You can also try to develop your own Linux version, right? There. In Indian students, they will get this as a project in universities. Create own operating system. That can be done. There are ways. You can just search the videos and create your own operating system. Hantana Linux. And you can create, like, uh, okay, if you like, you can create Avisha Linux, Lakshaya Linux, Lithum Linux. Anything that you can create. You have to decide, right? I'm going to create on my own operating system. I'll compile the Linux engine. I'll use the Linux engine and create my own. So it can be done. Right, then uh, Nofix Linux, Puppy Linux, uh, right, Mint Linux. There are many Linux versions. So Linux is uh, basically, this is wrong. Linux is not operating system, it's a kernel. Right, these are Linux based operating systems. So these are free and open source. That is why anyone can create this. Anyone can use this engine. We call that free and open source. Anyone can use this engine and create their own OS. Right? Then Windows operating system, you need to pay. Therefore, you will sometimes get trial version. But trial version, but sometimes you will get the license key also then the charge of the laptop or the computer will be high because they have paid for license too. So that is for the pre-installed software. <coughs> computer Okay, what else? The warranty period. The countries like Sri Lanka, we will not get the uh, grade A. We will get really, we will get grade A quality computers. Nowadays, if you buy a laptop, be very careful. These grades are really, really cheaper grades and these computers are really not good. So these computers are really fragile, kind of like a computer. the computers, but these are expensive nowadays. So think about the warranty. Are they given a big warranty period? Then, if they are satisfied of their product, then you can also be happy. If they can warranty their products for three years, then you have to be happy. Sometimes there are extended warranty. That means that here, manufacturer will give one year, but seller will add some more years, but you have to pay some extra. Let's say with the manufacturer warranty, the laptop price is 150,000. With the seller extended warranty, the laptop price is 180,000. You have to decide. This is very interesting topic in uh, USA like countries because they basically they purchase this warranty. The reason is if something happened, repairing is costly there. Because repairing can even be costly than buying a new one. Therefore, people would like to buy the warranty and keep that. So they are buying extended warranty. But in Sri Lanka, we are not doing that much. On-site warranty means like uh, if something wrong, they will come to our place and it, uh, repair. That is done for companies, basically. Companies are doing this on-site warranty. Again, Aranyan non a computer. will repair. That is good, right? So some companies are providing this on-site warranty. Then up in Lanka, you are doing You have to provide some other companies. When you buy a computer from them, so they will come and repair. AC machine will take a when you buy an AC machine, they will come and repair in your place. That is on-site warranty. No need to move that to their side. Price is another thing. Service after sale, as I said, it is another thing. You have to think about their technical service, the quality of their customer care. All these things need to be considered. The last topic for today is the, the ports. Universal serial bus, that anything can be connected to USB, even the monitors. But in your examination paper, you will get a question. So in that question, you have to answer like monitor cannot be connected to USB. But take a wrong. Exam is clear. What is the parana syllabus? Parana syllabus is a monitor connector and a bath on USB. I mean, then that the monitors would connect current pull on USB. Now you can connect monitors to USB. Therefore, right, connecting. Now you can connect uh, monitors to the computer, therefore, uh, you using USB, therefore, that is wrong. 
But in your examination paper, you have to write monitors cannot be connected to exam. Monitors cannot be connected using USB. But take a boru. Harima with the earlier on, old monitors cannot be connected. Kelly and Napula have a ekal boru. Hey, to her, now you have uh, these kind of converters VGA to USB. Then move the gun. Parana monitor a caragina. VGA to USB a gun. Right, by an old monitor, by an old monitor connecting. USB to v, uh, VGA to USB. Now what? You have connected the VGA cable, the other end is USB. Now you can connect uh, a computer this way. You can connect your computer this way. VGA, let's say VGA mail. Also, in the mail like a computer. VGA mail connect. If you have a USB, you USB USB mail. connect my own. USB mail, female. USB female. Connect. USB female. Connect. USB male. And a VGA male in known, USB female in known. You can have a male cable like a male cable. Male cables kill a can of pins in a cable. Female kill a can of holes. The VGA male can be a HDMI. VGA male to HDMI. USB is a VGA female. VGA male to USB female. Right? That can be. Okay, these are the things, ports. We learn about the ports. Let's remind them again. It's in this diagram, RJ45 coming for the network, USB, then VGA, 15 halls, blue color normally, DVI, so it's digital video interface, USB, PS2, keyboard, mouse. These are some common ports. Okay, now what do you need to consider? Technically, you need to consider about the capacity of hard disk, memory capacity, screen size, etc. Technically, you need to consider about this. Non-technically, you need to consider about price, service after sale, company warranty, and the reputation also. These are non-technically. And the pre-installed software can be taken as, pre-installed software can be taken as technical. Pre-installed software can be taken as technical specification. That's it. Okay, let's wind up for today. Next day, I'll be discussing the remaining part. Actually, I'll start the next chapter next day. Right? We are going on the fast track. We will be revising first four chapters soon. After that, we can start our last term test. Okay, then good night. See you all next week. Good night, sir. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Bye.